The West cannot accept the independent policy of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, a small state in terms of territory, is one of the countries that plays a decisive role in the system of international relations. One of the reasons for this is independent foreign policy. Azerbaijan's independent and flexible foreign policy based on national interests has an exemplary character. This is one of the biggest successes of President Ilham Aliyev, who leads the country. Today, Azerbaijan has become the owner of great influence in the international world. The flexible, pragmatic and balanced, multifaceted foreign policy formed goodwill environment around the country. Currently, energy projects implemented by the state of Azerbaijan, cooperation formats serving regional integration, play an important role in ensuring stability in the South Caucasus. The foreign policy strategy implemented by Azerbaijan at the international level based on the principles of equal rights and mutual interests is considered by experts to be an appreciated model. It was this policy that conditioned the liberation of Azerbaijani territories from occupation and made the country a strong subject of international law. Azerbaijan resolved the 30-year conflict through military and political means, restored territorial integrity and historical justice. The Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is in the past. With the achievement of the historical victory, wide opportunities have been opened for the formation of a sustainable peace, stability and security environment in the region. President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, has declared that he is ready to sign a peace treaty with Armenia in order to solve the problems of the post-war era. However, there are those who oppose peace in the region and those who do not accept Azerbaijan's victory. They are seriously worried about Azerbaijan's independent foreign policy and its achievements. This is why they are campaigning against Azerbaijan. At present, France's position on this issue is more pronounced. The victory of Azerbaijan in the Second Karabakh War, the local anti-terrorist measures in September of last year, the establishment of a checkpoint in the Latin Corridor, and the complete restoration of Azerbaijan's territorial integrity are met with jealousy in France and some other Western countries. It is known that there is a large Armenian lobby and numerous Armenian diaspora in France and their activities for many years have not been without results. The matter has reached such a point that the appointment of Rashida Dati as the Minister of Culture of France, who expressed an objective opinion about Azerbaijan, was met with a large protest by Armenians. It is a pity that in the homeland of the Balzac, Zolia, Morpassant and other such great culture bearers, today, following the Armenian sedition, they cannot choose white from black and become a tool of revenge in the hands of world Armenians. In this process, France also uses European organizations. The activity against Azerbaijan in the winter session of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, PACE, this year is a manifestation of this. PACE opened a strange page for itself by not confirming the credentials of the Azerbaijani delegation. While this organization should base its activities on the principles of democracy, human rights and the rule of law, it has demonstrated its inability to implement its basic principles. When Azerbaijan became a member of PACE, 20% of its land was under Armenian occupation and the country faced the problem of nearly 1 million refugees and internally displaced persons. In that time also, there were the same problems related with human rights in Azerbaijan. However, PACE ignored these problems and acted as if nothing had happened. Seeing the impunity, Armenia became more deviant and threatened Azerbaijan with a new war for new territories. In addition to PACE, other international organizations of the West did not put any pressure on Armenia and did not demand that they respect international law. However, the liberation of Azerbaijan's territories from occupation overturned all the plans of the West. In the PACE document, it is claimed that Azerbaijan blockades the roads to Latin and that Karabakh Armenians were completely removed from their region after the local anti-terrorist measures that took place in September. Azerbaijan has repeatedly expressed its position on this topic and the West has persistently ignored the truth. Azerbaijan declared that the Armenian residents who lived in Karabakh can always return and pass to the jurisdiction of Azerbaijan. 
Thus, there is a clear double standard in policy of some Western countries' move against Azerbaijan, which has become a toy in the hands of countries like France. So, why did some Western countries act so biased towards Azerbaijan? The answer might be as the following. They cannot accept the independent policy of Azerbaijan, the complete restoration of sovereignty and territorial integrity of Azerbaijan by defeating Armenia.